The COVID-19 pandemic has forced the corporate world to re-engineer how it conducts business. Eco Carib's Chief Executive Officer Dinel Florius, who appeared on NTN's COVID-19 Roadmap to Recovery, Youth Economic Empowerment, indicated that while his company had anticipated and prepared for an economic crash, the lack of financing remains a major hurdle in the survival of a business. We actually raised funding, funding round. So raising funding in the region is really, really hard, mm -hmm. very extremely difficult. And you can go through incubators, you can go through accelerators. We've done all of this. Incubators and accelerators usually give you grants which are assigned to a certain task of, for development in your business. Now, you'll still need a lot more cash to really get to the top of where you need to be to really get your product or service out there. Depends on the business that you have. I mean, I happen to choose one of the most difficult businesses in the world, um, which is energy. Flores explained that a partnership with a strategic investor provided not only cash, but resources and expert and technical support. Export St. Lucia's Chief Executive Officer, Sunita Danielle, recognizing that access to financing for up-and-coming businesses can be challenging, informed that the agency has been exploring initiatives in that regard. That's one of the things that we have been really advocating for, is for a grant funding facility to be placed within Export St. Lucia for exactly that purpose. In the meantime, what we are doing is to really build those relationships with the St. Lucia Development Bank and with other commercial banks. Um, because one of the things we've realized is that for youth entrepreneurs, their biggest issue really is financing. It really is an issue yeah. um, in terms of getting any initial, like Dinelle said, a lot of them have to use their savings and that can only take them as far as possible. But then afterwards, they really need that initial injection. And what has been happening is that a lot of um, young entrepreneurs really use direct equity funding, which is not really the best for young entrepreneurs. Export St. Lucia's CEO also highlighted efforts to ensure that not only do entrepreneurs have access to financing, but that they are able to honor their loans. The St. Lucia Development Bank, um, Export St. Lucia, recently signed an MOU with them where we'd be sending young persons to get that kind of concessionary funding from St. Lucia Development Bank. But one of the conversations we've been having with them and with our commercial partners is to change the way in which young persons pay back their loans, for example. Um, it should not be a schedule fixed repayment. That's, these businesses really can't operate like that. What it should really be is something based on the revenues that they make, on the cycle of how their revenues come in. For example, we have a lot of small, um, Export St. Lucia has a large clientele of small enterprises based on agriculture. And there is only the harvesting period has to come in the planting period then they harvest during that time it's not fixed on a monthly every 28th day of the month that's not happening they're not getting revenues at that time particularly when they're just beginning the businesses and so that's the discussion we're having that you kind of amend the terms of repayment for those young startups that was export st lucia's chief executive officer sunita danielle